Hi, God bless you. Happy Easter. This is your friend Ferdinand and I just want to wish you a happy resurrection. Christ is risen and he is risen indeed. And the fact that Jesus lives, the fact that the Lord Jesus rose from the dead is our guarantee of the future. Because he lives, we also believe. And because he's alive, you see, Jesus not only purchased redemption, he is alive to guarantee what he purchased, to make sure that what he paid for is experienced by those for whom he paid. Amen. Happy Easter to you and to your family. And I just want to share with you from that first Passover that the children of Israel enjoyed, which of course was a picture of how Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, will be slain for our sins and how his precious blood will be our security, secured by the blood of the Lamb, secured by the blood of the Lamb. Now, the children of Israel had been in bondage for 400, 430 years in the land of Egypt and it was time for them to get out of Egypt. And you know what happened? God did all kinds of miracles but Pharaoh would not budge. But God said to Pharaoh, said to Moses, There is yet one more plague that I'm going to bring on Egypt, and Pharaoh will let you go. And when he lets you go, he will let you go, he will drive you out, practically out of his country. And that was the plague of the Passover. God told Moses that every Israelite household should get a lamb, and that that lamb will be killed. You can read the whole story. In um, Exodus chapter 12 and uh, you know in fact chapter 11 chapter 12 and then right up to chapter 13 where all of those things were actually executed but the point I want to show you from Scripture to bring encouragement to you child of God you are secured by the blood of the Lamb you are secured by the blood of the Lamb so look what God says to Moses he says now you are going to keep the lamb. This is the lamb without blemish. In Exodus chapter 12 from verse 6, God says, Take this lamb without blemish and keep it until the 14th day of the same month. Then the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it at twilight. You kill the lamb. That's, that's the point. Now look what God says to Moses in verse 7. And they shall take some of the blood of the lamb and put it on the doorposts and on the lintel of the house where they eat it. And that's why I'm standing by the door. So God says to Moses, you are to put the blood on the doorpost, hmm? the two doorposts, you know, both sides, and then on the lintel, on the lintel. Now this is the house and this is the door. So you put the blood on the doorpost, doorpost, and then on the lintel. And of course, if you put blood on the lintel and you put on the doorpost, blood is liquid. So the blood begins to drip. It drips even on the floor. So the blood from the doorpost, the one from this doorpost and the one from the lintel, literally drips. So you see there will be blood on the floor here, there's blood on the doorpost and on the lintel. And then God said to them, stay in the house. Stay in the house. And as long as you stay in this house that is covered by the blood, look what God says to Moses. He says, I am going to pass through. This is now verse 12. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 12. So God says, I'm going to pass through the land of Egypt on that night. And I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. Verse 13. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague, the plague, the plague, the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. That, that Passover signified the Passover that our Lord Jesus was going to fulfill for us. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians, he said, Christ, our Passover, 
has been slain for us. Jesus is our own Passover. And the blood of Jesus is the direct equivalent, the superior fulfillment of what the children of Israel experienced. And the blood of Jesus covers a child of God. The Bible says we are washed by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says the blood of Jesus is speaking better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus speaks on our behalf. And God said, when I see the blood, <laughs> when I see the blood of Jesus upon and over your life and over your household, I will pass over you. The plague of death, the plague of destruction, the pestilence that was going to wipe out all the firstborn, he said, it will not come near you because you are secured by the blood. And one more thing God told the children of Israel, he said, make sure you stay inside the house. Stay in the house that is covered by blood. Don't come out. You see, if you were an Israelite and you put the blood and then you open the door and you step outside, the plague will meet you on the street. But God said, stay in the house that is covered by blood. And that is why abiding in Christ is so crucial. Now, child of God, stay in the family of God, in the house that is covered by blood. Abide in the vine. Don't step outside the realm of the protection of the blood. As you abide under the blood, plead the blood over your life, plead the benefits of the blood over your family, over your health, over your business, over all that concerns you. And God says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You are secured by the blood of Jesus. And if you don't know Christ yet, if you are not saved, you are not safe. If you are not washed and covered by the blood of Jesus, you are not safe. But the good news is all you need to do is to receive Jesus into your heart and receive forgiveness of your sins and you will be washed by his blood and you will be secured by the blood. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood, the benefits of the blood, the voice of the blood of Jesus over this listener of Fruit and Brave. And we thank you that we are secured by the blood of Jesus from every plague, for those of them who are health workers, for those of them who are ministering to people, even in this plague, receive the protection of the blood of Jesus. And as God sees the blood, the plague will pass over you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we are secured, we are protected throughout this season, and we give you the praise for what Christ has done for us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with me on uh, Truth in Brief today. In Jesus' name, and happy Easter. Bye-bye.